So you've heard of some punk kid who keeps threatening to mess up the weather. Who is this guy, and what's his deal? They call him El Nino. Okay, I'm guessing you know that El Nino is not actually some little twerp. It's part of ENSO, the El Nino Southern Oscillation, a meteorological cycle that creates wacky weather every few years. It all starts over the Pacific Ocean. So, let's say that this is Indonesia, and this is South America, and everything that's in between is the Western Tropical Pacific. The sun beats down and warms up the surface waters. But then, in a normal year, the trade winds blow across from east to west and push that warm water over. This means that the western part of the basin is actually half a meter higher than the eastern part, since all that sun water gets collected into what's called the western warm pool. Water from the deep then comes up closer to the surface on the east side to replace what got blown over. This upwelling brings up fish food too, which is why the Peruvian fishing grounds are one of the five most productive in the world. The fact that all the warm water is pooled to the west also means that it heats up the atmosphere over there. The warm air rises until it gets high enough to cool to form clouds, which then forms rain, which supports all the rainforests in Indonesia. Okay, so that's a normal year. But what happens when El Nino comes to town? He starts by weakening the trade winds, or sometimes even reversing them. Why does he do this? Scientists still don't know. This means that all the water that was pooled to the west starts to flow east, and the sea level flattens out as the warm pool moves across the basin. Which also means the upwelling stops, and so the fisheries collapse and it means changes in weather on both sides. The parts of the world that normally get tons of rain suddenly find themselves in drought, which can undermine fragile food supplies. On the other side of things, the parts of the world that are normally cool and dry suddenly find themselves hot and in danger of floods, all because of a shift in heat out of the western warm pool. El Nino is an entirely separate thing from global warming, but they could build on top of each other and make for some of the hottest years we've ever seen. Scientists are still trying to understand El Nino fully, but this is one whippersnapper it's probably best we didn't mess with.